Hey everyone, Wayne Grayson, online editor of Equipment World, welcoming you in for a uh, another video. Every week we serve up new videos uh, on the latest in construction equipment, uh, pickup trucks, and uh, work trucks. And uh, let's get into some details about today's video. It's a good one. We've had a very, very busy last couple of weeks here, but it's been a lot of fun. Um, this, uh, this one uh, was shot in uh, Clayton, North Carolina, and in it we talked to Alex Stockman. And Alex is Caterpillar's uh, retail development manager for all of North America. So she basically works um, kind of between the, the dealers and, and Caterpillar, trying to figure out like what's a good mix of options, what's a good way to present the Cat brand in Cat's retail stores. And so at this kind of event that we uh, attended in uh, Clayton, North Carolina, um, Alex had a really big announcement to make on Caterpillar's new strategy for retail. And that includes making the stores a lot more easier to navigate, kind of um, uh, making the buying process a lot faster from kind of talking with the salesman to getting the equipment on the trailer and getting it home. But also kind of like the big news out of all this is that Caterpillar starting with its compact equipment is going to start marking its machines inside of its stores with sticker prices. And it's going to have like a nice breakdown of monthly payments and uh, total machine price and financing options. So that's kind of the big news. Um, and uh, for the rest of the details, I, uh, I'm going to shoot over to myself uh, in North Carolina with Alex. Uh, if you want kind of like a breakdown, be sure to check out the episode notes uh, in the uh, description below. It's got time markers for kind of everything we talk about so you can browse it that way. Actually, there is one more thing I wanted to mention. Our first video uh, in a series of videos that's coming from this event that occurred in Clayton, North Carolina is up um, and it goes deep into detail on the new Caterpillar D5 dozer. You don't want to miss that. And without further ado, let's get into our discussion with Alex Stockman of Caterpillar. I've got Alex Stockman with me. Cat today introduced us to a new strategy that they're taking toward their their retail stores. Um, and one of the kind of big announcements to all of that was the introduction or kind of like the, uh, I guess, enhanced rollout of, of on-machine pricing. Alex, talk a little bit about on-machine pricing and um, what you guys are, are hoping to, uh, to help customers with with through that and, and also I know that some of that inspiration kind of came from looking at the automotive industry and, and, and car buying right yeah yeah so um, several years ago when we started really looking at how could we get a better customer experience we surveyed um, some of our competitors we looked at some of the caterpillar stores and then we looked at some of the uh, automotive industry right um, and we knew that a lot of our machines at caterpillar especially on the small compact construction equipment side they're about priced to what a uh, fully loaded pickup truck would be mm -hmm. or a machine that a consumer is used to purchasing yeah yeah um, and what we found is that those folks are really used to that same kind of automotive buying experience right um, and the key piece there is that you're able to understand a lot about that vehicle mm -hmm. before you even set foot in a store. So we knew that we had a lot of work to catch up with, um, but it really started with trying to kind of nail down and remove a barrier of what, why customers weren't coming to see Caterpillar, which is, right. as we understood from hearing customers and dealers, is that it's intimidating to walk into a Caterpillar store. Sure. Um, we're kind of an aspirational brand and folks mm -hmm. assume that we are out of their price range. Mm -hmm. And the only way that you combat that is by being completely open and honest and saying, well, gotcha, but here is the price, and here is the price on this machine, and right. you could walk away out the door with this machine today. Um, we piloted that with a few dealers, and it was pretty eye-opening, um, I guess surprising for us to see that uh, it, it didn't scare people away, it didn't make right. customers go running away. <laughs> customers were like, wow, I didn't know that I could afford a Caterpillar. And then once that barrier was down, it opened everything up for for all the, the premium service that you would expect from a cat dealer in terms of the product support and the service, um, the expertise that you have at that dealer. It's mm -hmm. now within reach. So it's really a, a, a pretty critical barrier for us to take that off, um, take, take down that barrier. And um, it's re we really wanted to make sure that dealers are continuing to put display pricing on machines, okay. in store, and then also online. Okay. So if you could look at several of our dealers now in, in 2019, we've got several dealers who are displaying machines online with prices they're also selling those machines online yeah right that's that's pretty cool and and yeah. you know the the ability that to talk, speaking of like truck buying and car buying the ability to kind of go online and and build and spec and kind of get like a 
uh, it may not be like the whole price, the whole yeah. uh, picture when it comes to price, but it's still definitely a handy thing to kind of take in with you to the dealership. Um, that's that's definitely big, and I would say uh, on on a cat machine, it's probably going to be a little bit uh, a little bit more streamlined. You get a little bit better. Uh, price, especially with the uh, monthly pricing breakdown that yeah. you guys do as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, most of the folks who are after compact construction equipment, they're owner-operators, they're small businesses. Um, it's really hard to kind of stomach a giant payment, but if right. we can kind of show you, well, here's really what your monthly costs are, which as a small business owner, that's what you're you're thinking of, right? Right, right. Um, it really kind of helps helps them understand what that is. And it's not just the machines, too. It's, you know, well, let's make it convenient for you, so attachments and parts. Mm -hmm. um, even service, we can start now booking online, too. Yeah. So. And you mentioned earlier, you know, the, 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 the fact that the element of all of this, that cat is definitely an aspirational brand mm -hmm. um, in the marketplace. And the thing that brings to mind to me is, is the Apple store mm -hmm. um, and kind of one of the big things with this new retail approach that you guys are doing or trying to make everything kind of like a, the, the cat retail store, an, an all in one store. So right now, a lot of dealers are kind of segmented, maybe even like walls between mm -hmm. some of the different services they provide, yep. whether it be the parts counter or, uh, you know, your, your servicing counter counter your rental or your uh, your, your your kind of like power your gin mm -hmm. sets and stuff like that so um, talk a little bit about how you're trying to bring you know not necessarily the, the functioning parts of those things you right. might still have to go to a different part of uh, a cat campus to do that but still trying to bring elements of all those in-house so that they're all within reach of the yeah customer. absolutely um, you know we, we really had the small local contractor in mind when we were rolling out the strategy um, what do you need when you're a small contractor? Right. You don't really know sometimes all the components that you need, but having everything in one place, at least to have awareness of what's available is critical. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the guys who will purchase a 259 compact track loader, for example, they probably need maybe a light tower or maybe they need a scissor lift. And mm -hmm. that's something that they could rent through the cat rental stores. Right. So if we have things like rental rates, for example, um, if we have uh, just an awareness piece of what is available at the cat rental store, and vice versa, if you were at the cat rental store, what would it cost for you to purchase that machine as a brand new machine or as a used machine? Right. Just having those awareness components in is critical. Um, and yes, absolutely, we are not there yet today. Uh, we have a, definitely our silos within uh, within Caterpillar, and our dealers have been set up to have different business units. Sure. Um, but if we really take the customer's viewpoint, it serves everybody if the customer understands that here's what it here's what we have for power systems for offering here's what they have for rental here's where parts and service could be accessed right um, so it's really creating that awareness and yes we're probably not going to tear down all of our branches <laughs> and like rebuild into the perfect dealership right. but now we can at least take some of those components and have elements of awareness available a lot of our dealers are starting to do things like um, TVs within the dealership okay they'll put their service prices on there cool flat right flat rate service rates you know which is great so now I know I'm, I'm here to uh, purchase my machine but did I know I could also get my oil changed for a hundred and ten dollars because right. it's sitting right there yeah so again it's that awareness will which will again you know we're obviously want to retain all those those loyal cat customers but why should we right and it's really because we have um, a tremendous amount of offering to help them run their business smoother and more efficient yeah absolutely and uh, you, you know uh, one of the uh, kind of one of the other uh, big elements of this, and we, we mentioned it earlier though, um, is the the ability to buy a machine online. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit about what what that looks like, because uh, I I know that <laughs> I have a little bit of. Uh, of anxiety whenever I make a big purchase online. Yeah. I can't imagine like buying like a backhoe or a skid steer online, how right. much, I, or you know. But but yeah, tell us a little bit about what that looks like from a customer experience and, and how how many dealers at this point are where actually have that capability already. Yeah, uh, great question. So um, we know that most consumers do not buy cars, automotive cars <laughs> online right now. Carvana seems like a great idea. And yes. I think it intrigues people to think, I could buy it online. Mm -hmm. I could do it just like an Amazon card experience. Um, and as far as we know, our competitors are not selling machines um, online wholly. Um, however, we know that the landscape, especially the digital landscape, it changes so quickly oh, these yeah. days, um, even within a period of years. So I think that we're kind of designing the process with the end in mind, which is at some point we may move to online sales as a, as a pretty solid distribution method uh, via our dealers, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but, but basically what it's done is create that seamless experience between the brick and mortar stores mm -hmm. to the online experience. Um, we have had a number of 
sales on online. Um, they have been existing cat customers. There have been some instances where new cat customers have kind of come in and said, oh, let me spec this machine and yeah. let me see what added to the cart. And then they come in and they're right. like, I'm ready to buy this machine. We're like, where'd you come from? <laughs> um, which is great. Um, but it really is, again, to help promote awareness. Mm -hmm. um, our research shows that 80% of customers do a significant amount of research online before they even step foot sure. within a Caterpillar yeah. dealership, which I think all of us do as consumers. Yeah. Um, so it just makes sense that we would provide that to you up front. Now, yes, of course, um, is the machine that you see online, is that the one that you need for your application? Do you need that attachment or should you be doing some other things? Right. We don't know. And that, that was some of the reluctance with, with some of our dealers saying, well, we want to make sure we can talk to the customer. Right, yeah. And I think, but to your point, I think most people feel comfortable of like, well, let me at least know that it's within reach, right? Yeah, that is that is a really that is a really good point about it. I mean, and I, and I think that a lot of, uh, uh, it, it will make, it, as long as the full functionality is there, right? Because like an incomplete yeah. feature set, that can can scare people away. Yes. Like if they, you know, why shop online if I'm not going to buy online? And so right. it, even even having that kind of uh, that level of completion to the transaction online being available is likely to, I, you know, I would argue not not just bring more people to shopping on the website for heavy equipment, but but probably will push it forward in, in, yeah. in a way too, right? Yeah, and uh, I'm I mean it's exciting to know what the next three to five years is going to bring. Mm -hmm. And if we do move into a method where now everyone's selling machines online, everyone's buying cars online, um, you know, we're, we're well prepared for it. And if not, it's a great way to be able to talk to customers and make sure that we're giving the information they need, mm. even if we don't know who they are. The, the last question that I have for you, Alex, is, um, um, you know, we've been talking about the on-machine pricing in the stores um, and, and kind of how unique that is and just kind of like the, the landscape of, uh, of equipment dealerships yeah. in general. But um, now, right now, um, we're, this is being rolled out across Caterpillar's uh, building construction products line, and that, that, is, that is primarily kind of compact equipment, but, but basically from small equipment all the way up to tobaccos. Um, but is there any uh, is there any plan for the future to, to bring it to like the new D5 that I'm looking at here yeah. or some of the larger equipment? What is, what is your thinking behind some of that? Yeah, so we consider what well, we consider to be a, what we call a retail machine, which means a customer could walk into our store and want to purchase the machine. We consider it to be the entire BCP or Building Constructions product line and the small side of the GCI uh, con a construction line. So that's going to be 950, 950 GC. Okay. Um, some some of the, the, the D5, for, for example, right. um, D6 was on there, UCOM, SCOM, some of the smaller paving products. Um, it's very feasible that a, a small contractor might have a 950 and he might have um, a CTL or a mini excavator on, uh, as well. Right. Um, so those are all kind of within scope and those are the ones that we would ask our dealers to consider. It's up to each dealer. I mean, they know their territory best. What products um, do you see moving the most and fastest? Um, yeah. And those are the ones that we want to make sure that we're very transparent with our pricing. So okay. um, we are moving in that direction. <laughs> as you can imagine, this is still kind of uncharted territory. Sure, and, yeah. Um, having folks get on board and saying, yeah, I'm uh, really excited to display pricing online. <laughs> right. um, yeah. Not been the most popular thing, but the, the crazy thing is once we do it, I mean, we don't even have to we don't even have to push this at all with our dealers because they see the value in it. They have the customers coming in and conversing and saying, yeah. you, you guys are more affordable than, than well, I you, thought. You said earlier, uh, it was a, uh, a great quote from earlier, but you said, yeah, price is scary, but it works. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah. Sometimes that we need to do the things we fear the most. Yeah. <laughs> and I definitely did not make that quote. I'm pretty sure it's a military <laughs> quote. <laughs> so, well, yeah. uh, the, the, the la I guess the, the last thing, I already said the last thing, but the, the last thing uh, that I wanted to kind of talk to you about was kind of like the the new look and you guys have like a pretty cool demonstration of kind of like your vision for what a cat mm -hmm. retail store will be and and yeah. then when we say retail I mean it's such a good word for it too because it, it feels like a full retail experience yes. right so it's not just you come in and there's like a cardboard cut out of one of the machines right. and then there's some oil filters and maybe like a hat yeah no like when you when like when you walk into this this demonstration kind of storefront it's like there's hats and t-shirts and toys and kids stuff and it's yeah. like the full cat That's cat right. brand right yes. so, so kind of uh, talk a little T to me like a cat store especially for like someone who's a cat fleet owner it should be like an Apple store it should be if you're if you're an Apple yes. if you're not an Apple fan I'm sorry for all of this but <laughs> but if you are an Apple fan it's a, it's a place where you know you don't mind going and killing an yeah. hour or two and dreaming exactly. about so like is that kind of like yeah the hit the nail on the head um, in a lot of our uh, competitive and, 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 and industry research what we found was that 
a lot of the showrooms and retail storefronts for for um, OEMs and uh, for other manufacturers and also automotive it does feel like a place you want to hang out. Yeah. You can have a cup of coffee. You can talk a little bit about the the industry, um, especially small business owners. You know, outside of working hours, you got your kids in tow. Yeah. And if you don't occupy them, they're going to tear something up. <laughs> so, so knowing that, you know, making sure that that's kind of a, um, a understood of, of what that customer is going through. Right. We want to make sure that that's evident in in our offerings within the showroom. So. The vision is we'd like to be able to have somewhat of a, of a hardware store type of mentality. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've seen lots of customers go into stores, purchase um, you know zero turn mowers and weed whackers and steel equipment and leaf blowers, and then they a, a, a small mini excavator catches their eye because it's got a price on it. Yeah, right. There's lots of hobby farmers and there's folks who are like, yeah, I could use that machine. I didn't know I could rent it or I yeah. could use it for you know for X amount of dollars a month. Yeah. Um, so it really starts planting seeds. And maybe he's not interested in the market for it, but he has a buddy who is. Mm -hmm. So you know, it, we, we want to make sure that it's more than just a place to do a transaction. Um, it really should be a resource, a fixture in the community. I love how um, um, how Ag does this. You know, in a lot of the rural areas, they've got these these stores that yet yeah, they're not much to look at mm -hmm. but it feels like home when you walk in sure. and you just kind of sit there and talk and you got co hot coffee there and popcorn machine and ki toys for the kids to keep yourself occupied right with. at the same time you're getting a lot of business knowledge and, and kind of industry knowledge about the about the area so yeah. um, we're not quite going to that total model just yet but that's the thought is, is we really we want folks to come to a caterpillar branch for reasons other than purchasing a machine yeah and we've got a great brand mm -hmm. um, people love all of the, the merchandise and having cat hats and everything else like that so what better place to do your Christmas shopping get a mini excavator if you have Hats and like some t-shirts. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. Go. Exactly. Well, that's that's uh, that's really all we have time for today. But thank you so much. Yes, thank uh, this you. was fun. Thanks for hanging out. With As always, thank you so much for watching Equipment World. Um, if you want more videos like this on construction equipment, work trucks, and pickup trucks, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and uh, sign up for notifications so you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.